This video will cover the topic of chemical shift referencing. Chemical shift calibration should be done before you do any other processing option that relies on the peak's chemical shift position, like integration and peak picking. By definition, a properly referenced proton spectrum should have the internal standard tetramethyl psi lane added and have its chemical shift set to 0 ppm. However, most samples run will not include TMS and this leads to several issues. We will discuss some of these here. When ICON NMR processes your spectrum, it will run the command, SREF. This command looks for the presence of TMS and sets it to 0 ppm. If it does not find a peak near 0 ppm it will use the default referencing. This is based on the instrument's lock frequency and the solvent. If you chose the correct solvent when you set up the experiment the default referencing is usually pretty good and within about 3 hundredths of a ppm to the correct value. For most results this will be more than adequate. However, it is difficult to get consistent chemical shift results across many samples without further referencing. One problem with SREF is that it sometimes finds a peak near where TMS would be and sets it to 0 ppm. This is common for samples contaminated with stopcock grease or silicone-based vacuum pump oil. This could lead to chemical shift errors to over one-tenth of a ppm. Topspin uses a parameter SR, to apply an offset for chemical shift referencing. This sample did not have TMS, nor did it have any other peak near 0 ppm, so SREF applied the default referencing. The SR parameter is set to 0 and the scale is pretty close to the true value. If I set SR to a large number, you can see how the chemical shift scale moves erroneously to give poor referencing. I can always set SR to 0 to get back to the default referencing. We recommend that if you have any doubts about the chemical shift referencing, to set the SR parameter to 0. If you still see a problem with the scale, check to see if you ran with the proper solvent in ICON NMR. Most spectra can be referenced using the residual protons of the solvent as a secondary reference standard. We have charts and published papers by the spectrometer workstations that have tables with the chemical shifts for the residual solvents. However, you should be aware that these are not 100% accurate. In many cases you will find different values for the same solvent. Here are some examples for the chemical shift value for one of the most common solvent, chloroform. As you can see chloroform has been reported as 7.24, 7.26, and 7.27 ppm. You will find similar inconsistencies with many other solvents. We recommend that you choose a value you and your advisor are comfortable with and use it consistently. It may not be accurate, but you will be consistent across all your samples. Here are the steps to manual reference a spectrum using either TMS or the residual solvent. In this case the sample does not contain TMS and was run in chloroform. First you would expand the chemical shift axis to the area with the peak that you want to use as a reference. Then find and left click on the calibrate tab in the data window. This will open up the calibration routine and hide the integrals and peaks. When you move the mouse in the data window you will see a red cursor. Move the cursor to the center of the reference peak. Be pretty careful because the software will use the point the cursor is on and not the center of the peak. Then click on the left mouse button and a dialog box will open. Enter the value you want to set this peak and click OK or hit return. This should set the scale to the reference point. SR should have a value that reflects the offset from the default. If you have any doubts, you can always reset the scale to the default referencing by setting SR back to zero. Note that after referencing, the peak labels will be wrong. We will show you how to redo the peak picking in a later video. This concludes this video on chemical shift referencing. Thanks for watching.